Hello and thank you for giving us the opportunity to come to you today and also journey with you through this week uh, in the Word of God and in prayer. We always look forward to be being able to spend these few moments with you. This week we are going to spend some time talking about healing after abuse or trauma. And uh, of course, uh, we in these seven devotionals that we bring to you this week uh, is not necessarily a comprehensive uh, word on the subject, of course, but we hope that these brief insights that we bring to you each day during the course of this week will be of blessing to us in our journey of healing. The Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 23, now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely and may your whole spirit, soul and body be preserved blameless at the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. So the Apostle Paul is expressing the desire for our entire being, spirit, soul and body to be preserved blameless, to be kept in good condition, to be kept well uh, as long as we are alive on this earth or should the Lord Jesus come before we were to pass away. So God desires for us to be preserved, to be kept whole, to, keep, to be kept strong in every aspect of our lives. Now sadly, many of us, or some of us at least, uh, face situations that actually hurt us. We refer to this as abuse, or sometimes through circumstances when we are hurt, we refer to that as trauma. Now abuse is really usually when somebody does something to us that wrongs us uh, in a very, very strong way. Now when somebody tries to control us or sometimes they may hurt or harm us physically or verbally or they may devalue or demean us, destroying our inner person or they may even sometimes make us completely dependent on them. All of these are different forms or ways in which someone could be abused by another person, you know, and the context in which some of these abuses can happen could vary. It could be maybe in a family situation, a marriage, or it could be in a workplace, it could be in a church, it could be in a Christian ministry. Uh, the abuse could be spiritual, it could be physical, emotional, verbal, financial, so on. You know, so there are various forms of abuse and trauma, of course, is when something happens to us which is outside of our control but affects us deeply. It could be an accident, it could be some uh, violence that we have had to face, it could be maybe a, 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 a crime situation that you know, you're suddenly exposed to or it could be even a natural catastrophe that took place and it was very traumatizing. It shook the individual up uh, to their very core. So we face these kinds of situations that affect us emotionally, uh, many times even physically. Abuse or trauma. The good thing is there is a God who heals. And that's what we want to talk about today. That the God in heaven can preserve us, make us whole, and help us journey through life well, even though life has had its difficult moments. May we experience that as we journey together this week. Let's pray. Lord God, we just come to you and we open up ourselves to you. Lord, we pray that especially as we journey together this week, if there be any listening, watching, who's gone through abuse or trauma, Lord, that they will experience your healing touch. We thank you that you're faithful to do that. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.